Hey what's up, it's Josh Hoffman Productions here. Today we're going to be doing a photo shoot and we're kind of doing like a photo vlog but not exactly. We're doing more of a photo shoot today and we're doing we're using Sage as the model and I'm the photographer once again. But it's a little bit different because we're doing Brandon Wolfe. Wolfe, I, I can't say his Wolfe. name. Wolfe. Brandon Wolfe style. So that's what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll ch do this into a series. Maybe I'll do this into something else if you like it or not so leave a comment if you do let's go to the first product oh, let's go to the first prop so the first prop we used was this strainer or spaghetti strainer and I put my phone flashlight through it and it gives off this really cool effect that I believe Brandon Wolfell Wolfell I can't say his name Wolfie Wolfel, whatever I can't say your name Brandon just if you watch this forgive me we did this effect and I have some footage and I can show you the photos right here the second prop we use is the dip, is the dip tray if you guys did watch my photo vlog that I did actually it was a photo vlog Dollar Tree challenge that I did with Sage and I used this dip tray it makes this really cool effect cool it, it, it cool effect and it has a interesting effect on in the dark and in the light no matter depending on what you're going for so if you put a camera through it, it can make this really cool lens flutter effect and if you're putting a flashlight which I was using my phone for I don't I, almost like an aquatic look if you were underwater it makes that effect and it's very interesting so we'll go over to some footage and some photos of that as you can see this is the effect that it gave off with the flashlight and this dip tray it's actually a very interesting effect just like I said it was this aquatic effect almost if you were underwater and let me show you some of the images third prop we used was the CD and I also used my flashlight to make the rainbow effect. Now if you watch Brandon's videos or if you watch Brandon or you follow Brandon on Instagram, definitely know that he does this rainbow effect a lot, especially especially with uh, especially with like LED stuff. He does LEDs, these rainbows, he does sparkles, he does all this stuff all the time. So how I actually got this was very hard because I had to hold a camera and obviously hold the CD in the flash. So I will show you an example because I have my phone here. I have the CD and <laughs> I'll show you the example here. I have my phone and I have my CD. I did it like this. Sage helped me uh, get this into position because I forgot how I even did it because it was so fucking complicated to get it. I fucking did this. Like, I don't even know how you how I even thought of this in my head, but I did this somehow. I can't even get my finger back on it. Um, and I held. Oh my goodness. I held it. You get the idea. And I practically did this somehow and took a photo. It was very hard to do, but I got some really good photos. You can see the footage and the photos here. So we're getting this rainbow effect by the CD and the flashlight on my phone. And it made this really cool effect. And it's so interesting. I learned it by Brandon. And I decided to try it out because it is his style. And it's awesome. I love it. Got some really cool photos out of it. So here they are. So this is Sage's favorite photo. She likes it because it has the rainbow effect and the lens flare and it's really cool and I enjoy it too. It's just, it's out of focus and that's why I don't like it. The fifth prop we did was a candle and I pretty much gave off this witch vibe for Sage because this is what, she kind of likes the witch vibe and she kind of likes being a witch type of thing. That's the vibe I was going for with these photos and I have some footage obviously again with my GoPro and here we go. As you can see, this is the candle we used as two wicks, so it's much brighter, which is good for the image or tr images we're trying to get the witch vibe. The last prop was twinkle lights, and we 
pretty much use twinkle lights to get off the effect, give off the effect that Brand. We were trying to give off the effect that Brandon usually does in his photos, but it was very hard to do because for some reason, because maybe because of the twinkle lights are not bright enough, or or the twinkle lights we have on my camera, or there might be a lot of different factors. We can't get the desired image. We've tried multiple times in the dark, and we just can't. Uh, I'll show you some photos of it here. But I just can't get the desired image. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to stay creative. Peace out. Bye.